The night was dark and stormy, and the power had gone out in the small town. Sarah was driving home from work, and she could barely see the road ahead of her. The rain was coming down hard, and the wind was howling. She was worried about getting home safely, but she had no idea what was waiting for her. As she turned onto her street, she noticed that there was a car parked in front of her house. It was a black sedan, and she didn't recognize it. She started to panic, thinking that someone had broken into her house. Sarah tried to call the police, but her phone was dead. She decided to investigate and see if anyone was in her house. She cautiously walked up to the front door and slowly opened it. The house was pitch black, and she could hear a faint noise coming from the back of the house. She grabbed a flashlight and started to make her way towards the noise. As she turned the corner, she saw a figure standing in the kitchen. It was a man, and he had a knife in his hand. Sarah froze, not knowing what to do. The man turned around and saw her. He started to walk towards her, and Sarah knew she had to act fast. She swung her flashlight at the man's head, but he dodged it and lunged towards her. She ran towards the front door, but the man caught up to her and tackled her to the ground. He held the knife to her throat, and Sarah knew that this was the end, but suddenly, the lights flickered back on, and the man froze. Sarah used this opportunity to kick him off of her and run towards the phone. She dialed 911 and explained the situation. The police arrived soon after, and they arrested the man. As Sarah sat in the police station, she learned that the man had been following her for weeks. He had been stalking her and had planned to break into her house that night. She was lucky to have fought him off and survived. However, Sarah's nightmare was not over. She started to receive strange phone calls and letters in the mail. The voice on the other end of the phone was menacing, and the letters were written in a language she couldn't understand. She went to the police again, but they couldn't do anything about it. They told her to ignore the calls and letters, but Sarah couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was watching her. One night, as she was getting ready for bed, she heard a noise coming from the window. She went to investigate and saw a figure outside. It was the man who had broken into her house. He had escaped from prison and had come back to finish what he had started. Sarah tried to run, but the man caught up to her. He grabbed her and held the knife to her throat. She knew she had to act fast. She remembered a self-defense move she had learned and used it to disarm the man. She took the knife from him and stabbed him in the leg. The man fell to the ground and Sarah ran to the phone to call the police. They arrived soon after and arrested the man again. Sarah's nightmare was finally over, but she knew she would never forget what had happened. She had learned to be more aware of her surroundings and to trust her instincts. She had survived a dangerous situation and had come out stronger because of it.